is Leanne coming to you from the office of the Ascend team. In this video, we are going to be talking about the 40-60 split, otherwise known as the 60-40 split. You're going to hear it referred to as both. They are exactly the same thing. This is a very, very important concept for you to understand in your Mary Kay business, and not just understand, but do in your Mary Kay business. Um, because as we talked about in the previous video, if you don't understand the process of creating a profitable cycle in your business, then you're not going to get the financial benefits out of your business that you want. So having an understanding of the 40-60 split and knowing how to implement and practice that within your business is really important. I can remember the day that I was a new consultant and in new consultant training and being in the back of the room and the sales director teaching the 60-40 split on a whiteboard about this big. And I remember thinking how overwhelmed I was by that and how um, it was going to be a lot more difficult to run a Mary Kay business than I planned and I felt really defeated. So I want you to understand that these concepts and I don't want you to be defeated. So we're going to take kind of a high level look at the 40-60 split first and then in subsequent videos if you want to educate yourself more you can go on to them. So let's go ahead and dive in. Now in order for anything to happen in your business you have to sell some products. That's the start of all things good in a Mary Kay business is the selling of some products. So we're going to do an example. Let's say that um, you have a customer that you sold $100 worth of product to. So $100 was sold to your customer. Now, in order to get that $100 off your shelf, you also charged her retail sales tax. So for simplicity's sake, what I'm going to do is actually use a 10% tax rate just because I can do easy math that way. I know many of you have 9% or 8%. We're going to do 10%. So if we have to charge this customer 10% tax, that means that I need to take an additional $10 for tax from that customer, which means that my entire sales ticket is actually $110. Now, when you look at the 40-60 split, the reason that it's commonly taught is it's helping you to make sure that of the $110 you collected, that the right amount gets rebudgeted back into your business or reinvested back into your business so that you always have enough money to replace that product and have it on your shelf, as well as having the tax available when you make your order purchase. That won't make, it'll make a lot more sense to you when, act, when you actually go in and do an order, but for now, I want you to get the concept. So in this example, what we have to do is we have to take the tax off the top before we do the split. Let me say that again. We have to take the tax off the top before we do the split. So this $10 is essentially going to get moved over here to be budgeted towards my next wholesale purchase or when I go to order those products again. So that $10 is over here, which leaves me $100 to split. All right? So now it's very simple. Now I just take 60% or $60 and then move it over here. So this is $60. That is 60% of um, the total amount that I collected after I've removed the sales tax. So that $60 gets budgeted for two things. First thing, it goes to replace my inventory. The second thing it does is it helps me to budget for um, my PCP program, which I'll explain in just a minute, and my Section 2 items. So what happens is this money gets moved over here, so to speak, and it gets budgeted for the inventory, which is 50%, 50%, and then it is recommended that you not spend any more than 5% of what you sell in your business on section two. So those little things like applicators and samples of eyeshadows and samples of lipsticks, that's all called section two in your Mary Kay business. And you really shouldn't spend more than 5% of your total sales in a month on those um, samples and stuff. And it's really easy and really tempting to spend a lot more than that. So be a really savvy businesswoman and make sure you keep that right at or under 5%. So that's what you're recommended to budget for that. And then for your PCP, that is the preferred customer program. And I'll let your director teach you more about why you should do it and what it is. But the PCP program is a big part of a Mary Kay budget. 
because it's something that happens quarterly. And that's where you enroll your customers in this program and then your catalogs are sent to your customers on a regular basis. So it costs money for you to do that and so it's important that you budget ahead of time so that you have the money available to do that. That too is supposed to be about 5% maximum um, of your sales per month. So you can see that the 50% to replace the inventory that you sold, plus the 5% for your sales aids, plus the 5% for your PCP is your total of 60%. Now, what a lot of people do with this is they actually try to do this budgeting in their head. It doesn't work that way. Um, in, in, in a few minutes, I'm going to show you a little more on, on how to do this and the best practices associated with it. But that's where we get the 60% of the 40-60 split. So 60% gets budgeted after tax for our inventory to replace it, plus our PCP and our sales aid. In the next video, I'm going to tell you what to do with your 40%.